Oh, he's bowled him. That is an absolute jaffer. It swung very, very late. And it's just uh, well, swung from middle and off to clip the top of off stump. It's a very, very fine delivery. And uh, Vichy Saband has got two in this match. Terrific Yorker first innings. And that was a snorter, Dean. Well, there was a big appeal for Abu Dhabi, the first the delivery before that, but now the bowler has made the umpire redundant by hitting the stumps. This is Abanda out for four, Zimbabwe is seven for one. Nine in the match. Oh, he's gone. Caught and bowled. Not sure if he held that one back a little bit, but Hamilton Masakatsa certainly was trying to be positive. And it just stood up on him. The ball has stopped and checked throughout the test match. Very difficult to, to, to drive off the front foot, let alone the back foot. And that was an attempted back foot cover drive. And he's uh, hit it straight back to the bowler. Pretty regulation catch. Yes, it was going fairly quickly. Not uh, at tremendous speed. And, uh, well, a simple pluck out of the air for Raviel Islam. And it's a bit touch awkward now, Dean. Nine for two. Well, that's uh, what Hamilton Masakadza did not want, but he's gone for naught. That sounded like it hit the pad first and the finger goes up. There were two noises, but even to the, without hearing it again, first time around, it sounded like it was pad bat. There was a thud and then a click, and uh, Timson Maruma has gone. That's uh, a wicket for Rabiul Islam. And Zimbabwe are 16 for three. Dear, oh dear, this is not good news for Zimbabwe. That Oh, yes. So uh, they got off to uh, a very, very poor start in their second innings. We just need to try and find out whether he's being out to LBW or out court. So he's on his way, and uh, Zimbabwe in trouble at 16 for three. Marumagon for 10. And uh, as Dean Duplessis' uh, acute sense of hearing told us immediately, there were two noises. So we're just waiting to see whether... I mean, it definitely looks LBW, doesn't it? That's, uh, that's crashing into middle and leg, or leg stump. But um, it's then ricocheted, we think, off the pad onto the bat. And you watch uh, Mamadula takes the catch at second slip. So just uh, we waited momentarily. And you'll see him appeal as well, because he's heard two noises too. Look at that, he's got his hands underneath it and he's appealing for the catch. He could have been out, but both. Waller should have left that alone and uh, he left his bat there and uh, he's got another one, does Rubiel. He now has four. He's picked up Waller and uh, straight into the middle order, Zimbabwe's second innings is in trouble. They now find themselves 27 for four. Pretty much straight delivery. He spotted it, didn't move his feet. And a pretty simple catch at first slip. Rubiel's got four for six. Zimbabwe in trouble. Waller's gone for four. 27 for four. Out there, there was a lot of pressure, and I'm sure he'd have been feeling the heat as well. That was those? No, three of them. Were played when he was just a teenager. That's out. That's a good catch. That's a good delivery as well. And a fifer for Robbie Al Islam. That's very, very well bowled. And oh, another good delivery from Robbie Islam. It's just straightened and bounced on Alton Chikumbura. It didn't look like he could do much with that. And a nice shot catch and five wickets for him. And boy, has he deserved it. He's been the pick of the bowlers for Bangladesh. Shelton Chikumbura goes for an enterprising 27, 84 for five for them. <laughs> Big appeal for Robbie W. It is our first ball, six. <laughs> and Robiel Islam is on a hat trick. Two wickets, two balls. Just tailing back into the right-hander. It was uh, pretty leg, 
but I won't say leg sideish, maybe leg stumpish. Uh, and if it was hitting the outside of leg stump, that's just fine. Well, he's angled it in and he's fallen right over Richard Mutumbami and that ball straight and just enough. That's hitting middle and leg and a good decision from Tony Hill. Very disappointed Richard Mutumbami. He goes for zero. First ball.